Right, mm. so tonight is the first of Trunts returning for 2024. Um, slightly different format this year. The first eight go towards the PB records and the last one is an outright race. Uh, taking it slightly steadier today, running with the GoPro. Uh, just excited to get back out there and do it. The last one I did, I did injure myself, hurt my ankle. Um, so going to go out there and redeem that. I have seen photos of the river crossing though and it does look like it's deeper than normal. So we shall see how it goes. But yeah, ready to go. So this is me walking past the wagon and horse and going to registration. You get yourself a lifetime number um, once you've registered and it's £2 a race. Um, you just write it on a piece of paper and it comes with you every year. Um, normally we park in that back field as well but due to the weather conditions this time we had to park elsewhere. The race starts at 6.45 along the TPT and we just all gather up. You do have to pay attention to pedestrians on here just because they still do have right of way. Um, but yeah, the adults go off after the juniors. The juniors do a slightly different course and it's a sprint out to the first gate. Just heading down to the first river crossing, this bit is not normally underwater, you can see the stepping stones um, normally, but they are quite slippery, um, so yeah this is the first river crossing before the road section on the way out. There is a total of three river crossings um, throughout the race. The first river that I've just crossed over there, you go back on um, before heading up the climb towards the finish. The first trunce was on the 28th of February 1968, where six individuals assembled outside of the wagon and horse, which is where we hold the registration now. Um, the course hasn't really changed much since then and um, this steep climb here that I'm going up runs along to the top of the quarry which is where the farm the old farm called the Trunts um, originated and that's where the race got its name and um, you can tell here that it's quite steep the angle that the camera is and um, at the top there is sometimes some cute little pigs out as well which I like to say hello to This is the second river crossing, it's a little bit deeper than the first. Don't float away like this guy did here, it does drop in one part of the crossing and if you jump under you just float away.
Petrunce as we know it at the moment is not dog friendly but there is a well known little lad called Scamp that used to be let up after the last runner and he would chase after them all and round them all up and I'm pretty sure he never finished last. The full Trump's route itself can only be accessed on race day, which is another fantastic thing about the race, is that you're running in areas that the general public don't go to. Um, so yeah, bear that in mind if you are wanting to go out and recce it. Some of it is closed off and not got access to when the race isn't on. The start and the finish of the race is the flattest bit of the race, so make sure you've got something left in the tank as you this corner to sprint down to the finish. Hello! <coughs> Completed the trunks, did pretty well, I didn't fall over, didn't go under the water, quite happy with it, attempted to be sensible but as soon as someone says go in a race that's it you're off. Um, but I did kind of slip and slide rather than run down the hilly bits. It was a lot wetter and muddier than normal. Um, but really happy. Second lady, don't think I was too far off pace. Definitely felt a lot more comfortable on the road section and the trail section coming back than I normally do at those points. But yeah. Happy I did it, first one ticked off, a uh, couple more to go.